New at six, carjackings and reckless driving are issues that continue to plague our community. As we await updated numbers later this week, Ashley Rice details what city leaders are doing to put the brakes on the problem. Reckless driving has been a growing concern in Milwaukee, which is why police council members and the community came together Monday for the carjacking and reckless driving task force. Casey Masters with Safe and Sound is looking for solutions. Safe and Sound works on public safety, and so one of those things is keeping our streets safe for the residents. This meeting comes just days after the death of 25-year-old Pedro Colon Ortiz. Ortiz was killed when an alleged reckless driver fled from a sheriff's deputy, ran a red light, and hit Ortiz's car. Seeing the loss of life last week from Mr. Ortiz, it seems like that's a daily occurrence right now. And looking at changing behavior is the critical component. Last year, three laws went into effect with stiffer punishment for offenders, but city leaders say more needs to be done. We'll be uh, targeting us through looking at enforcement and accountability and consequences, looking at education and uh, prevention. Police averaged 538 arrests for operating a vehicle without owner's consent between 2015 and 2018. They also averaged 42 carjacking arrests and 21 reckless driving arrests each year over the same period of time. Most of the offenders are between 17 and 21 years old. Safe and Sound offers education programs for young people to encourage safe behaviors. If we can do it in a way where the city is involved, where there are other partners involved, along with Safe and Sound and residents and youth, I think we really could tackle this issue. We all need to be working from the same page.